not good. All right, so I'm reluctantly underway today. It's a really miserable day. We get on and off rain, some heavy downpours now and then. We are sailing solo today. My brother Brian had to leave, get back to work, and uh, I'm heading from Southport to Myrtle today by myself. So uh, this should be interesting. It's all inland, it's all uh, uh, ICW waterways. So I don't expect, you know, too many issues, but you can see those clouds and, um, you know, that's blowing over us and uh, I'm sure we're going to get wet. skies again. Maybe this is a good sign. So the weather is uh, much nicer now. Didn't expect this today. It was going to be miserable all day. But um, storm blew over. Got some blue skies. Some clouds out in the distance. So we're making some headway now. Not Don't really have the current with us. The tide is not helping. But um, so we're running about eight miles an hour. Um, we got a late start this morning. I want to try to make it to a marina that I have a slip booked in Myrtle Beach. It's a little further than I was hoping to go, starting so late, but I just wanted to get there. I'm going to visit a friend who lives in Myrtle, and uh, hopefully we have smooth sailing for my first day solo in South Carolina. All right, that's a milestone. Never been down this far, so uh, at least with the boat. But um, keep our fingers crossed. We're passing Shallot Inlet. Ocean looks pretty snotty out there. Guess what? We have just crossed the border to South Carolina. So let's see, crossing the South Carolina border, we are, I'm thinking this may be the midpoint of the trip, just about. So uh, halfway there, that's a huge accomplishment. But we keep on going. I might have spoke too soon about that storm. This is not looking good. Looks like it's coming right over us. So, thankfully I'm getting into some protected waters here. All right, we got all buttoned up in here because it looks like it's gonna open up on us. But hopefully it's just gonna skirt past us, but we got some blue skies there. Storm is going that way, sort of. So keep our fingers crossed. I don't know what it's doing. like 10 degrees since uh, we got under this uh, cloud cover. And here it is. I'm just getting the tail end of it though. Not good. I could hardly see anything. It would have been nice to see that, not through the rain. It marks the entrance to the marina. Alright, you can't see it, but we need to open a bridge in front of us, right past this big bridge, the swing bridge, with only seven feet of clearance. And uh, hopefully, this clearing stops this rain before we have to do this. Again, we got bare 
five foot landing here on the right, to our starboard. I'm sorry. On the right, we have a uh, barefoot landing arena. Here on the left, we have barefoot landing. Apparently, it's an entertainment complex, shops, restaurants, free docking for the day. All right, we're picking it up a little bit here. Need to make up some time between the storms and no wake zones and we're starting late the marina closes at six so i want to get there before six being i'm single-handed i want to get some help going into the slip so uh need to make up some time so boats running pretty good i'm not pushing it we're doing 18 miles an hour at 3,800 RPM. I guess this is a no weight zone. Running into this all up and down this canal here. Myrtle Beach on the ICW, they call it the rock pile because the uh, canal was dredged out of rock ledge. They had to use explosives to make the channel. So uh, when you get close to the edge of the channel, the rock crops up very quickly. So you need to make sure you are in the channel at all times and you don't venture too far out of it. Uh, don't uh, don't venture out of it at all. Um, if you go passing a boat, you need to just sort of edge over a little bit, but make sure you're staying in the channel because uh, if you were to hit rock underwater, your propellers are uh, toast along with everything else underneath the boat. Some lucky person getting their dock dredged. Pirate ship for the kitties. More rain. I'm getting sick of this. All right, we picked it up again. Trying to make more time. We just had another bridge opening we had to go through. Didn't film that because it was raining. Again, everything's wet again. And we are gonna cut it close. Marina closes at six while everybody goes home at six. And it is 5.43. And we are about five minutes out, so it's going to be really close. I just want to get the hand docking. Now this is something else. All the trees growing right on the shore. I'm surprised they don't die. This is salt water. Well, I believe it is. It's tidal. Maybe it's brackish. And that water is really deep around those trees. It's surrounded by it. Pretty deep. Here's the entrance, Osprey Marina. You get a long shoot before you get to the marina, so it's slow going here. Pretty neat though. Pretty neat setup. Set back in like a little cove. It seems affordable too. I think it's only a dollar a foot. At least that's what it said in Waterway Guide. What a peaceful place. I can't imagine what the bugs are like at night though. Alright, we have made it. We are docked safe and sound. Electrics all plugged in. This is a really neat marina, Osprey Marina really unique marina the setup surrounded by trees so you come down this chute right here and they have a bunch of boats docked along a long floating dock and then it opens up to this cove and it's just this small cove it's, it's protected all around they have rack storage for boats over there so quite a few boats at this marina up in the racks 
I am standing on the gas dock. The gas dock is over here. And uh, this is the transient slip. So here's happy hours. I guess I'm the only transient. The only one smart enough to come to this place. But a dollar a foot, you can't beat it. Can't beat it. And what's going to be really neat, because I'm tied up here, super easy to get in and out solo. That was my main concern. Really concerned about the winds when I was docking, but had a couple dock hands here to help me. Really nice. The woman at the office was very understanding. I was running late. Got here right at the, at the closing time. And uh, they got a little store over here. You buy some basic foods, ice. I haven't really had a chance to walk around or check it out because they were closing. But here's the gas right here, the pumps. And they got the long hose reels, so I won't even have to move my boat. I'll just drag the hose to the back of happy hours and fill her up tomorrow, which I need. So the boat really needs a fill up. Um, it has never been this empty. It literally says 0% on the port engine. And that's the engine that runs the generator. Um, I know I don't have zero gas in it because I have the fuel monitor. So uh, the tank gauges are a little bit off, but um, I have about 50 gallons in each tank still, but it shows zero on uh, the port. But anyway, I'm, uh, I'll fill it up tomorrow. We'll be all fresh to go. And uh, I don't know, I might stay here two nights, you know, for $41 a night. I'm going to meet a friend of mine. I'm going to go out to dinner. Um, I'd like to get some work done on the boat. I got to see what's going on with the uh, port propeller. I believe either I hit something or there's something wrapped around it that is keeping it from getting up to the RPM that it needs. Birds are dive bombing, bombing me here. So that's it. Okay, maybe I won't dive on the prop at this marina. So Osprey Marina, give me a little guest bag here. Got a free koozie. Eyeglass, uh, sunglass holder, strap. Free jar of jelly. Peach jalapeno preserves, sunburst. That should be interesting. Made. And we got all the Wi Fi information. Look at this. You get a little notepad and even a pen. So, wow, they really take care of transients here. It's great stuff. All right, here's the rundown for today. July 18th, we left Southport at 10 30 a.m. We arrived at Myrtle Beach at 6 p.m. That's seven and a half hours of travel time. We used 34 gallons of gas in the port, 33 on the starboard, total fuel 67 gallons run, running, uh, 67 gallons used total. Our average speed was 8.3 and average miles per gallon 0.93, which is much lower than what we've been getting because I had to push the boat to get here at this marina, Osprey Marina, um, in time at six o'clock, so I had to pretty much get up on plane for a good uh, hour and a half, two hours or so. So um, that's where we lost our mileage, went up a gallon, 0.93. We usually, we were running better than one. We had a 1.1, 1 1.19, 1 1 1.08, 1.38, that's a dismal swamp probably day. 1.13, 1.1, so yeah, pushing the boat, you know, uses more fuel. We are on empty. We're going to fill up tomorrow. Gas here is about $5.70 a gallon. Um, and I think you get a discount. So uh, 10 cents discount for Boat US. We'll find out in the morning. I'm going to relax a little bit, get the boat tidied up, and uh, try to make myself something for dinner. 
until next time.